In this video, I'm going to show you how to take scan data from Preview 3D and then bring it into the Resolve Quest app so that you can look at your reality capture data on a Quest 3 or a Quest 3S. If you're working on brownfield projects, making uh, layout changes to an existing facility, then workflows like this are extremely helpful. And we want to show you how you can add VR to your preview 3D workflows or add reality capture to your existing Resolve workflows. So let's dive in. We start with reality plans uh, with preview 3D's reality plan app on my desktop. You can see I have one of their demo scans open here. Preview 3D does an awesome job of converting your reality capture data into mesh output uh, so that we can then bring that into software like Resolve. The first thing you need to do is activate a clipping box. So I will activate the box and select this one. I'm doing this so that I can cut down the scope of what I'm going to export because the more that I export, the longer it will take. Preview 3D is generating high quality mesh data. And so the more there is to uh, mesh, the longer it will take. I'm going to take this section of the building for now. And then you hover over the export button. Make sure that your clip box is selected over here in the clipping manager that will dictate what the export will be looking at. So we hit export 3D model. And now we've got a couple of options here for quality. Again, the higher quality, the more data you're exporting, the longer it will take. And then you're going to hit export. Once Preview 3D is done generating your mesh, you will see the uh, Windows File Explorer. And what we're going to do here is select an FBX. You can choose a couple of different file formats here. I'm going to use the FBX because I'm going to show you how to take a scan from Preview 3D into Navisworks and then go into Resolve. So I'm going to do FBX and then name my file um, whatever I want. Let's say Preview 3D.FBX. And then I'm going to hit save. After that, it will save the file. Again, you'll see a progress bar as all the data is written out. Now we're going to switch over to Navisworks so that we can federate this model. Maybe you have other BIM data that you want to overlay on it so that you can show existing scan conditions with your new construction that you've been modeling out in BIM. Or maybe you have other uh, equipment that you want to overlay in the model. Whatever it is, we can federate it in Navisworks. So I'm going to hit append. That opens up my Explorer. And then I'm going to go to where I have my export from Preview 3D. By default, Navisworks tries to append other Navisworks files, but uh, you can switch over to the all files to see everything. I have an FBX here, so let's select that one. That was the one that Preview 3D generated for me. Now that mesh is going to get imported into Navisworks. Again, I'm doing this on a clean Navisworks file. If you already have data in Navisworks and other models federated, you can append it to that file as well. The file that Preview 3D generated for me is now done importing. You can see it here, exported mesh in my Navisworks hierarchy. We need to make a few adjustments to the file before we upload it. Just because of the way that Preview 3D exports data, we just want to make sure that it will look the way we want it to look when we export to Resolve. The first change that I need to make is change the units because everything in Preview 3D was in meters. And when I import it into Navisworks, Navisworks now thinks the model is tiny because it's reading the units as meters. So if we switch this to meters, that takes care of the first issue. Uh, the next issue that I need to take care of is the model is sideways. And so we need to fix that. It is a very simple fix. You go to home, file options, and then orientation. And instead of the Y axis being the up axis, we're going to change that to a zero and turn the Z axis to be the up axis. And then we hit OK. And you'll know this worked because now top is what's facing us. And if we hit this corner, there we go. Now this looks correct. So I'm looking at the ceiling here. And if I zoom in, um, the floor is there, the equipment's on the floor, everything looks like we'd expect. Okay, we're almost there. The last thing we need to do is save this file. And I'm going to save it as an NWD. That's an important step here. So we're going to call this Preview 3D Test. And then by default, Navisworks is saving it as an NWF. 
we want to save it as an NWD. So we're going to go ahead and click Save here so that we can then import our file into Resolve. The final step before I can look at that scan on my Quest 3 is to upload the file to Resolve. So I'm going to open the Resolve web dashboard, hit Add New Model, and then I'm going to choose the file upload as my source. But you could also update it to ACC, or if this is a you know Navisworks project that you've been collaborating in, you would have just added it to your existing Navis file and synced that with ACC or Procore uh, if that's what you're using. In this case, I'm going to upload directly. I'm going to add it to my Resolve demo team, and then I get my file explorer and I select the file that I just made. Now that my file is done processing, I'm ready to look at it on my Quest 3. So let's go and do that. Now I am in the Preview 3D scan, but in the Quest 3 using the Resolve app. So I can fly around the model and you can see um, all the scanned mesh data came into the Resolve app and all the textures that Preview 3D created are applied to the mesh. So I can fly around and get close to some of the equipment. What's really cool about Preview 3D is it has a pretty good export pipeline. Um, so, you know, the, the bigger your point cloud is and the denser it is, the better quality mesh output you are going to get. And then, of course, Resolve's Wellington Engine will handle the rest on the MetaQuest. I'm able to review this with just a wireless headset. I'm not tethered to my computer. I'm not streaming from some GPU in the cloud. It's all running on the device. And now um, I can go in and I can review some of the access to the MEP in here, to the equipment. Um, and of course, if I had BIM, I can overlay it in the model, maybe go through several iterations of, uh, of different uh, design layouts in my scan many different use cases, but the point is I now have scan data in the Quest through the workflow that I just showed you. So again, we went from Preview 3D, you could have had a point cloud in there, it converts it to this mesh, and now I'm able to explore it in Resolve. I can use the tools, I can measure here, or I can sketch on the model if I wanted to. Say, I want to say, oh, let's you know, what's this piece of equipment? We're going to replace it with something new. Um, I can do that. And like I said, because we brought it into Navisworks, I can federate it with a bunch of other data as well. Uh, and then toggle layers on and off or do whatever I need to do. Actually, using our new hierarchy, um, I can also see uh, all the data in here. You know, this hierarchy as is, you know, it isn't too useful. Um, but if I had used maybe some of uh, Preview 3D's um, object segmentation features, I would have gotten a better uh, hierarchy here and then I can start turning certain pieces of equipment on and off um, so that I can use my scan in a way that uh, is a little more interactive. But uh, overall, you know, this is a really high quality mesh exported out of Preview 3D and then into Resolve. I'm gonna fly up here into the MEP and of course, I'm in here uh, on my own right now, but I can have my colleagues join me, uh, whether from the desktop app or from the Resolve uh, Quest app, and we can all review this model together without anybody having to travel to the site, uh, without people having to be geographically co-located. We can have these discussions about the virtual site before we go out and change anything in the physical world. And of course, we can use Resolve's tools to make a comment. We're going to need more space for this piece of equipment. And so I just say that out loud and then our AI speech to text processes that. And I'm going to say that is a design tag, place it right there. Now it is saved into my annotation list and I can sync that back to my team so they can check it out and we can have a follow-up discussion. I am on a Quest 3 at the moment, but Resolve supports the Quest 3S as well, and even the Quest 2. Um, and so you can take any of your Preview 3D scans and bring them into your Quest workflows with nothing more than um, the workflow I showed you today, the Resolve app, and a Quest device.